this is Bea and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in U-Town and I'm gonna show you a little bit around here what there is to do, what to eat, what to study, a little bit of everything. All right, so when you get to U-Town, this is the first thing you see when you get off the bus. This is the bus stop. And over there is the link to the rest of the campus and you can walk there and it's like three minutes, so it's very close. And this is the first building. Of course, you have the first US letters. And behind it, there are some restaurants. There is a udon bar and a Korean restaurant, but I've never actually been there. And in front, you have a cheer stop where you can buy small things and some other small cafes. When you get to the main plaza, if you go to the right, you see the U-Town residences, both blocks. And then behind it, there are the rest of the residential colleges like Tembusu, Cinnamon College, College of Alice and Peter Tan, and the last one is RC4. And to get there from here, I'd say it's about seven to 10 minute walk. And there you see the main green area. And if you turn to the left, you go to Fine Foods, which is the AC canteen. And if you keep going, you go to Stephen Reality Center, which is where most of the things are at. So let's go there. Here, the first thing you see is the Hayworth's Canteen, which is a non-AC, but it also has an AC part on the left, but I will show that another day. The main floor is also the entrance to the gym and it changes how it works but usually you can either just walk in or you need to book a spot like two hours early and things like that. On the top floor this is the best, this is the entrance to the infinity pool. And it's usually just open and you can just walk in, but now I see that it's closed, maybe because of th a thunderstorm or something. And there isn't much more in this floor, so let's just go to the bottom. basement the coolest thing that you have is the rock climbing wall and it's free but it's not always open but it's nice and if you go towards the main plaza 
you have some different restaurants and stores. For example, you have a small fair price, which can be good when you need something quick. And this is the main green and many people sit there. Not today because it's very cloudy and also at night it's nice, nice vibe. And especially because at night here you have the super snacks which I talked about in the PPR video and you it's open until one or something so you can just come get an ice cream and chill here and just behind there are some other stores like small supermarkets that you can get some groceries at and this is the typical picture because you have the Utah Green you have the Education Resource Center which is where all the study spots are at. I will show you in a moment. And there you have the U-Town residences. Up there is the infinity pool. Here are the NUS letters, which I'm sure everyone has taken a picture with them. Here in the Education Resource Center, you have the Starbucks, which is really a place to study and to talk with friends so it's where many exchange students come and meet so if you go upstairs you go to the main area And then you also have the Mac rooms, which has Mac computers. And, the, and farther down there, you have the PC Commons, which is another place with computers you can use. And I think in both places there are printers that you can use without needing a USB. So that's good. And they just have the instructions on them. And you can just access the computers with your NUS email and password. From there is how you would come if you didn't go downstairs from the Stephen Reidy Center. And this place here is just nice to chill at. But let's keep going upstairs. Of course the escalator is broken. I think it's broken half the times I've been here. You have the Mi An Nonsi Auditorium, which is huge. I've been there once to watch a movie. And then you have the study spots. This is just called the study, and it has AC. And then you have some outside tables where you can also study. There's one final floor, so let's go up. And on the top floor, there isn't much, but it's just a nice area to disconnect. Those buildings are the Yale and US buildings. I don't really know what they are, but it's for that program. And then those are the residential colleges, as I said. This is Tembusu, this one is Cinnamon, and that one is College of Alice and Peter Chan. 
and right behind it is RC4, but you cannot see it from here. And this huge tree is just in the middle of the building, like, yeah, this is U-Town. <laughs> and these are the views from the top floor, that is the infinity pool and just the Stephen Reality Center and the main plaza. It's really cool. I hope this video was useful and you could get a little bit of an idea of what U-Town is like. It's really the coolest place on campus I think and it's where it's really a meeting place for Shing students and other students and a place to study if you don't want to go to the quiet libraries and also because you have the gym the pool and a little bit of everything you can just, just come and walk around it's very nice but yeah don't forget to subscribe like and follow me on Instagram and I hope you have a great day <music>